Hello, and welcome to a digital day of learning. This is Rebecca Zulo from WVIZ in Cleveland, and the topic of this session is free math apps and websites for teaching children about math, and we're going to focus mostly on elementary here. So I'm going to switch over into the slide presentation, and I will also show you how to use some of these things um, on the apps. So here's our first slide. Um, and let me move to the next slide and give you a little more information. Okay, on this slide, you're going to see some links um, and some code numbers. If you wish to obtain contact hour credit for participating in this session, please enter the code um, on the website to receive it. The code you can see right here, um, right here, FM16. Okay, also, if you look up here, uh, in the yellow box, you're going to see a link to the presentation, so you can use that later. I'll kind of guide you through the presentation now. And um, later on during the session and a little after the session, if you have a question that you'd like to submit for me to answer, you can go to the link that you see in the bottom box, tinyurl.com forward slash FM16 question. And there you can input your questions, and within an hour of the presentation, I will reply to those questions. And that only applies to today, February 28, 2019. If you watch it at another time, you'll have to um, look for answers elsewhere. Okay, let's take a look at the next slide. Okay, this is just a little bit of information about me. I, um, I'm Rebecca Zulo and I'm a technology integration specialist and I work for WVIZ and specializing in math and technology integration which is basically what this presentation is about. Okay, here's our objectives for this session. To discover free math apps and websites to enhance teaching and learning math. Also to practice using some of these apps and visit the websites. And to think of ways that you can use the apps to teach math um, your specific content and your grade level. You'll, you'll have to use your professional discretion on that. There are lots of websites and apps in this presentation. We may not get to all of them, but you'll have access to the presentation and you can um, go back and click on the links. Okay. First, we're going to go to this website. It's the mathlearningcenter.org. And there's a shortened URL in the yellow box if you want to go there. And it's called the Math Learning Center. And when you go to the Math Learning Center, you're going to click on Resources. And once you click on Resources, you'll see the apps, and you can click on that. Okay. And you're going to see about 10 apps pop up. Once you see those apps pop up, um, you're going to see a variety of them. There's the number frames, number line, number pieces, and so on. And you're going to see underneath each of the apps, there is an option to open the web app. Now, the, when you open the web app, that's going to be helpful if you want to use it on your smart board. Um, also, if you want to use it on an iPad where the app is not installed, you can still go to the website, you can still click on Open Web App, and it'll allow you to use it for demonstration purposes on your smart board or also on um, a, a tablet where it hasn't been installed as an app. You can still use it. Okay, so here's some of the apps from the Math Learning Center. We have number frames, pattern shapes, which... Um, are like the pattern shapes that you have in your classroom. There's money pieces, number pieces, geo board, fractions, a number rack, and a number line. Um, if you have room on your devices for the kids, download as many of these as you can. I'm going to go over some of them, but you should check them out and see which ones you think would be best for your grade level. We're going to be taking a look first at the Number Frames app. So let's uh, take a look at how you would find that first, okay? Okay, once you go to the website, it looks like this. This is the website here, and I'm under Resources and under Math Apps. And once you click on Math Apps, these 10 apps come up. And the one that we're looking at right now is called the Number Frames app, okay? And you can download it on your device 
on the kids device. It's a free app and it's got a lot of great features. Okay, and this is what it would look like um, if you used it on a smart board. It also looks very similar to this on the tablet. Okay, so let's take a look. The reason it's called number frames is because in the upper left corner, it's got frames. And if you click on that, it gives you lots of choices. It's got a five frame, 10 frame, 20 frame, 100 frame. And then down here, you can customize the size frame that you want. So you can use it for a variety of reasons. So let's say I click on the 10 frame, okay? So here's a 10 frame. If I want another one, I can click and grab another one. Okay, actually I've got three of them, so let's work with that. Okay, let's say that you ask a child to demonstrate that they know the number 24. Now they could put in one at a time like this by clicking and dragging on their iPad or tablet like that. Or they can grab five at a time. The second pile down is five at a time. Okay, like that. Or the third pile down is 10 at a time and there's a variety of colors. Let's grab blue this time. Notice how that fills it quickly. And if they want 24, they can go like this. Three and four, like that. There's also a pen option at the bottom. You can click on the pen. And then over in the right-hand corner, you're going to see pen pop up. And then there's also a color wheel, so you can change the color. Okay, so let's say I go with blue. All right, so then they could write like this. I'm using my computer and my mouse to show you this, but it works much better on a tablet using your finger. So they could say 10 plus 10 plus 4 equals 24. Okay, now you can do this with or without the frames. So the frames are a scaffold, and when they don't need them anymore, you wouldn't use them. Uh, you can use it in any way that you would use a whiteboard. You can just clear the whole thing. Um, I like that you can change the counters. At the bottom, ben below the blue counters, you're going to see some shapes. And if you click on that, well, I have to get out of the writing mode, I think, to do that. If you click on that, it gives you different choices for the counters. So let's say you wanted to have black penguins and... Um, blue ladybugs or yellow ladybug bugs, you can change them. And then when they go to use the, oops, there we go. They can grab these and put them in like that. Oops, like that, 10 at a time. At the bottom, there's some features like, um, you can click on this row and you can flip them. Let me see, maybe I have to do it this way. It's not cooperating with me. Um, but you kind of get the idea. I'm going to clear everything. At the bottom, you see the Start Over button right here. Bottom left, click that, and everything starts over. Okay, so that is Pattern Shapes. Or not Pattern Shapes, I'm sorry. That is Number Frames. Okay, I'm going to flip back over to our presentation. And let's go into the presenting mode. Okay, here's another example of how the Number Frames app can be used. Uh, notice again at the top it says that you can use tablet, des desktop, or smart board, but uh, if you make a larger frame, the kids could show their multiplication tables. There's a pencil and an eraser and more information on how to use the app in the bottom right corner. Okay, And I noticed that I changed the counters to squares. Okay. Now we're going to take a look at one that's called pattern shapes. And you'll notice these look like the pattern blocks that you have in the classroom. Okay, so, all right, here's some of the features of the pattern shapes app. It's got all the same pattern shapes that you have with your manipulatives in your classroom. And then there's various grid choices. The start over button is the same along the bottom. These things are the same. There's even a protractor feature, the pen and eraser, and how to use the app. So let's take a look at how to use this one. Now I'm showing you this on my computer, but again, it works best on a tablet. Okay, so the pieces are here, and the kids can 
drag them out one at a time and make shapes like this using their finger. I'm just using the mouse. On the smart board, of course, you could use your pen or your finger. And you can see that you can build various shapes. Okay, you can you can turn the shape. Once you click on it, this little circle is above it, and all you have to do is put your finger in it and you can move it around. You can also make it smaller. If you go down at the bottom, there's a feature here where you can click on the shape and then click to make it smaller. So you can have small and large. You can make patterns. Also, if you want to um, duplicate or move the shapes together, all you have to do is take your finger and go all around it like this, and then that shape becomes linked, and then you can move it around. Or at the bottom, you can duplicate shapes like this. They're not together anymore. Okay, so I'm going to clear that. And then I wanted to show you here, uh, well, there's first of all, there's grids. If you click on this, different grids will show up in the background. Okay, also there's puzzles that kids enjoy doing. So uh, what they would do is click on one of them, any one, and then you would take the shapes and slide them in there. Okay, and so... It improves their spatial visual skills, and sometimes I need to twist them around to get them to fit right, like that. Okay, all right, so that one is called Pattern Shapes, and you can use it for teaching fractions and geometry and all kinds of things. Okay, so now we're back to the presentation. Okay, here's an example of one that I made um, last year where um, I made it into a snowman. If I have a chance, I will go back and do that. But I wanted to show you a few other things, but this was just um, some creative work that I did with some kids. Okay, and here's an example of the Pattern Shapes app where I did the rocket and filled it in with various shapes. Okay, there's another app that I wanted to show you that's by the same company and it's called Money Pieces. Here's what the features of this one look like. And again, it's the same company, so you're going to see similarities. There's money pieces. Um, they have coins, and you can use the coins with or without grids. There's a start over button, the exchanges button, the story problem props at the bottom. Um, you can flip over the coins and a pen and an eraser and how to use the app. So let's take a look. This tool is one of the best ones I've seen for teaching money to young children. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the pieces. All right, one of the things I really like is that they use the 100 grid behind the dollar to show the value of the dollar. And then if you take out a quarter, take a look at how they show the relative size using a part of the hundreds grid, 25 boxes for the quarter. Here's a dime. And you can flip it if you want it to go um, horizontally. You would just flip down here at the bottom. Okay. And here's a nickel. And here's a penny. Okay, now those all have the grid behind them. And, of course, they can pile them on top of the hundreds grid so they can see how many it takes. But there's also the option of not having the grid behind it. So if you look at the bottom where the coins are, right now I have the grid highlighted. If I go next to it, there's no grid. So watch what happens when I click on that. See how the grid disappears? So then it just looks like regular money. Okay, so I'm going to hit start over. And when I hit start over, um, let's think of some problems that we could do. So let's say you would ask a child to show you what does um, um, uh, 30, 35 cents look like. So there's different ways to do it, but let's say they took out a quarter and then maybe a dime and I, I did say 35 cents, I believe. So there's, um, oh, I got a little bit too much, didn't I? So here's 25, there's 35, I actually got 40 cents. So since I have too much, I could click on this and then click on the trash can. And so there's my 35 cents. Okay, so let's hit start over. Okay, another thing you can do is bring out a few quarters. And let's say you want to see how many dimes that's equal to. So if you... Let me see if I can group them together. If I click on exchanges, let's say I want to exchange it for dimes. 
yeah it just did that for the one quarter if I click on this one and do the same thing okay this is what I get and if I want to put these nickels together I can make some exchanges there too okay and I can also do it without the grid okay so let me start over and then I want to show you one other thing um, down at the bottom I call these word problem or story problem props you can bring up the the pocket you can make it larger by dragging the corner and you can say oh, you can make up a story problem like Mark had a quarter and two dimes I should probably do this one without the grid okay. Mark had a quarter and two dimes in his pocket how much money is that okay so they would click on it and then they could see okay so you could ask questions and assess themselves okay so there you go um, that's how you would use that app and I'm sure you can probably think of other ways okay so I wanted to um, show you the PBS kids app on the tablet I'm going to especially show you peg plus cat um, let's take a look okay I'm going to switch over to the camera because I wanted to show it to you on my iPad yeah if I click on PBS kids games this is one you'd want to download this one has several games within it and pig plus cat is only one of them but one of my favorites this is a free app which you can have um, on your iPads at school, but you can also have um, tell the parents about it. So over here, you're going to see a lot of the favorite characters that kids love, and certain ones have to do more with one subject or another. I'm going to click on Peg plus Cat because that one has to do with math. Now at the bottom, once you click on a character, you're going to see the games that are available, and they're kind of hazy in color, as you can see. But once you've downloaded, it becomes more vivid. So these ones I've downloaded and that one I haven't. Okay. So I did want to show you, um, let's say I show you this one, make the cake. Okay. They have sound, they have movement, and they give very clear directions. And they look just like the ones on the website. You may recognize these if you use our apps. Kids can use these with their headphones, and with their headphones, um, it'll, it'll tell them exactly what to do. Okay, so I highly recommend that one. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the presentation, and I'm just going to quickly show you a few other things um, that are on here. Uh, when you go back to this presentation, you're going to see extra things that we didn't have time to cover, but I wanted to share with you. You'll also see our website where you can also find some of the same games that I showed you. Here's the Peg Plus Cat um, desktop version. Some of these same games are on the app I showed you. Curious George. The Curious George Busy Day is one of the best apps for preschool and kindergarten. And you'll see that marked on this one. Looks like that. And then for a little bit older kids, the Maths Dictionary is just a website. Okay. Lots of free items here. Okay. So there's, there are extra things that you can click on on this page. Uh, these are actually the same ones. And you'll see the question link at the bottom and the link to the presentation. So if you have any questions, you can um, go to that and type them in. And so don't forget our contact area code is FM16, the contact hour code. And I thank you for spending time with me to learn about math apps that you can use that are free. And I hope that um, these were helpful to you in teaching kids math. Thanks.